All right, so we just have our skillet on medium heat. We added a stick of butter, one and a half cups of heavy cream, and then a package of our shrimp raw that we let it thaw out so it wasn't frozen anymore. So we are just gonna let that butter melt up. And while that's melting and the shrimp is cooking, we're gonna grab our seasonings. I'm gonna start off with some Italian seasoning. It's just gonna add the best flavor. We can even turn up this heat because it looks like it really dropped a little too much, but let's get our seasonings all in there so this can get cooking. And then we're gonna add some black pepper. Oh, this is gonna be delicious, you guys. Literally one of my favorite dinners ever. Now, this is optional, but I'm gonna add some sea salt because I just think that salt adds the best flavors with all meals. Perfect. Go ahead and give that a nice little mix. That butter is almost fully melted. Those shrimps are already turning pink. This is turning out so delicious, you guys. Now, I know this looks super watery and thin, but don't worry, we have something special we're gonna add that's gonna make this the most creamy and delicious sauce. So let's just go ahead and let that butter fully melt and let those shrimp cook. All right, so this is coming together perfectly. You can see those shrimp cooking right before our eyes. Now I'm coming over to my pot of boiling water and we are gonna add our family size five cheese tortellini into our water. This is gonna cook super quick, it's only four minutes. So this is the perfect time to get that all in there and let it cook. Okay, it is now time to add our Parmesan cheese to our shrimp and heavy cream. Now, this calls for two cups of Parmesan cheese, so I'm using two of these bags. And we're gonna go ahead and get that nice and mixed in. It's gonna melt and create the most beautiful Alfredo sauce. Those shrimps are just about ready. They're still a little translucent, so it's by the time the Parmesan melts, it will be perfectly cooked and ready for our tortellini. Now, the one thing that this meal is missing is, of course, some veggies. So I'm gonna bring in my chopped spinach, and this is frozen spinach, but it's been thawing out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of that spinach and place it right in there. You add as much or as little as you like. It's just for health factors. And we're just gonna keep mixing this. That cheese is starting to melt. The shrimp is almost fully cooked. Oh my God, this is gonna be the creamiest, most delicious Alfredo you've ever had. Right, babe? Oh my goodness, I've never seen it made like this and it's amazing. It's so good. I love anything with shrimp and pasta, but yes, this one's gonna be outstanding. So let's go ahead and let this finish melting up and then by then our tortellini should be ready. All right, this is ready, but first we gotta grab our tortellini that we just drained and we gotta scoop our tortellini right into our bowl just like so. And then it is time to serve up our delicious shrimp alfredo. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look incredible? It looks and smells delicious. Oh yeah, all right. We gotta turn off that heat so it doesn't burn, but this is ready to try. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a shrimp, got a little tortellini. Get that delicious homemade Alfredo. Oh, it wants to run away from me. Mm. 